What's up, everybody? Welcome to Redline Outdoors. We are out here on the beautiful Darbon Lake in Farmerville, Louisiana, and I got my good buddy Jeremy Albritton. He makes me—I am short, but he makes me look even shorter. No, he's, just, just a little bit short. Just. He's a pretty good-sized fella, <laughs> but uh, we're actually doing this video backwards because we're wrapping the day up. But y'all come go fishing with us, and let's see if we can catch some crappie on jig poles. Let's go, Jeremy. Let's go. All right, y'all, fish number one. A little goggle eye. Not the target species. Let him go. Pretty fish. What's that? What you got there? Got him a little crappy. Bring him in. Bring him in. Look at that air. <laughs> oh, spotted bass. Heck yeah. Yeah, this bank's they they around this bank pretty good. Uh, he'll eat, son. Yep. That's perfect eating size. Just right. Just come back with the ice chest. That well, worked just fine. That worked just right, didn't it? Heck yeah. Let's put him in the bucket. There we go, finally. That's crappie number two. That's crappie number two. Jeremy caught one. I got a spotted bass, a couple brim. It's been kind of slow, but he thumped it. Yes, sir. Oh! Here we go, let's see if we got some catfish in here. <clears throat> Look at him. Son of a gun. I got you. Maybe. He gonna be hard to catch. He gonna be hard to catch. There we go. Does it? There you go. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> I know. It's hard to catch. Where are you at? We're stealing catfish. Where'd you get those? Found that freon drum. Damn it! So these catfish will get in these holes. This is a freon drum. They cut holes in the top of it and some holes in the bottom of it so it'll fill up with water whenever you dump it down. And these fish will get inside these freon drums and spawn. That one tried to get out, didn't he, Jeremy? Is there any in that one? There's one in it. Look at that little sucker. There's more than one in there. Get out of there. We got the breeding pair on that one too. There's a male and that's a female. Be still. These things are hard to catch in there. That deck's wet. Hey boss man, you got enough for supper tonight. Whoa. <laughs> All right. You know what? I know. You got plenty for supper. I hear you. <laughs> I agree. Jeremy, 
Jeremy, what do you say? Let's go try to catch some crappie or something. Go ahead, fish with me. All right. Get slime off okay. Like I say, that ain't nothing but a free run jump. Cut a hole in the top, just big enough for them channel cats to get in. Cut some holes in the bottom, let it fill up with water, and stick them out there. And nothing to it. That's all it is. <laughs> nothing to it. Mess a fish. Mess a fish already. Just, just like that. We didn't even have to do nothing for them. Cut me. Not what we're looking for. Not what we're looking for. say throwing it out there and swimming it. Top of the mound. That's what we want. Jeremy got one. All right, then. <laughs> a double. A double, son. Y'all found a bed of them. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got a growth on the back of him. Yeah, he does. Crazy looking. Huh. What is that? I don't know. Crazy looking. Huh. We'll take it. Where's the cooler? There you go. I'll put him in there. I gotta get him unhooked first. The same thing. Top of the lip. Top of the lip, son. He wasn't coming off. Twins. Like I take a mess of those all day. Good eating. Good eating. Was you swimming it again, mm -hmm. or jigging it? I just swimming it. He thumped it, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Thumped it good. Get that big finger in there. <laughs> There you go. I'll go put them up. Catch another one. Yeah, I will. I'll try anyway. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to bring the cooler down here because it might jinx us. Got one. All right. Perfect. Just right. Just right. Uh -huh. Make a good mess of them. Yep. <laughs> work. Yes, sir. Can I catch one? Swimming it. Oh, well, I heard him hit it. I heard that sucker hit it. <laughs> yeah, he's like real good. 
Like you, ain't, you ain't got but one of them. I'm about to run out of room on my car. There he is. Oh, oh, get back in here, boy. <laughs> Another double. Hold on. Another double. Yeah. I don't know about mine. He's pretty small. Whatever you say. You'd keep him, wouldn't you? I would. Be a sandwich. All right. I don't know, man. They, they swallow and eat I know it. You got room on your card? Huh? I'm about to run out of room. Yeah, yeah. I can catch a couple more. Y'all, we are wearing these crappie out on the back of this dock. We're gonna have a mess of fish between them. Yeah. Oh. oh. Be still. I get no bites. They don't cause as many, you know, right here. But, uh, they do old boy. Cook, cook out there. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Put them up. Sure. Hey, Thanks, uh, sir. There was a couple guys come in there and they had hook nets right out. <laughs> yeah, hold him way out. <laughs> and they, uh, All right, Jeremy, real quick, let's show them back at home what we're using to set up and uh, go over a little bit of the bait. All right, well, this is an eight foot uh, crappie rod, and I got braided line on this one, and I got a hand tied hair jig. I tie those myself, and they seem to do pretty good. All right. So, and uh, then. What, what size What size head is on that uh, hair a jig? 16th ounce. 16th ounce. Yeah. And then you're going to be fishing with a 16th ounce with a bobby garland jig yep that's the that's the mm -hmm. color i caught mine on right mm -hmm. there glitter critter yep bobby this, garland that's a pretty color yep this i is really a, this is a 10 footer with mono on it 10 foot with mono mm -hmm. and it's actually got the green line on it so yep. i don't think the crappie cared too much today they i think they'd have bit, them a bit they was eating yeah i think they'd have bit anything yep they was hungry so, so. all right Ah, uh, that ain't what we're looking for. Uh -oh. All right. A double, but I got the wrong species. There uh. you go, right there. It's easy to mark on the head. Oh, no, that's on the head right now. I'm going to go get you out of that. It broke. It broke. It broke. It broke. Don't get him dead, dead, dead. No, I'm out of his drone. Ice chest broke. <laughs> I'm freezing him down there. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot harder to ride me, huh? <laughs> Without no handle on it. He's a mess of fish in that box, though. I know. Mm. That's awesome. Golly. Got him in the gills. He swallowed it, boy. Oh, I'll just... He ain't... Man, take all you want, brother. Do it. He ain't bad, is he? Get them catfish too. <laughs> Turn your nose up to a catfish when you got white perch, huh? Yeah. 
that uh, 623 bass right there. That's what I brought in. Three weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, he caught that 73, and then uh, Friday night, thank you, yeah, Friday night, he caught that 623. Sleeping Friday night. And he caught a four and a half last night. All right, then. Jeremy. Come on, man. Come on, man. What do you think about that, girl? You want it? I don't mind. That's, that's all you, buddy. You? I don't want it. Well, you have plenty. Catch and release on that one. We got enough. Stacked in there. Yeah. I know. Get in here. Go right back down there, getting them free on drum. Yeah. Yeah. Jerking him over the rail, son. Hey, he's using a hair jig, and I'm using the Bobby Garland. I don't think it really matters. I don't think it matters. <laughs> they just everywhere. Man, we lucked out. Yep. Got to miss a fish now. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, got one? Go. That's a perfect eating size right there, boy. That's what you want. Right yeah. There. Good thick fillets. Yep. Good to go. All right, y'all. Here I am back at the house, and it's time to cook those fish up. I'm getting a prep right now. As you can see, I've got some, uh, I'm making some sweet potato fries. I like cutting them like this, cutting them real thin. We're going to fry those up, and we're going to do the same thing with some new potatoes. We've got some corn nuggets. We've got some hush puppies, and then we've got the star of the show. We've got the crappie. We also have some uh, catfish, but right now we're going to marinate the fish in mustard and hot sauce. This hot sauce, it's not going to be hot. You really won't taste a whole lot of the mustard, just a slight hint. But this is mainly a binder for your cornmeal to stick to. Also, I'm not using a conventional... Uh, fish batter where we're gonna make our own this is just yellow cornmeal and we'll add a little bit of seasoning to this and it won't take a whole lot because we're already using hot sauce and mustard on our fish so let's go ahead marinate our fish and then right before we get our fish to get it get them ready to batter I'll put a little bit of lemon in there too don't let the fish sit on this lemon too long because this lemon will actually cook that fish It'll start breaking down the meat. So if you use lemon juice on your fish, uh, put this on the fish right before you get ready to batter them.
All right, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and get my fish batter ready. Like I say, this is just yellow cornmeal. I'm going to add a little bit of Cajun seasoning. A little bit of Dano's original. Yum, yum, get you some. And a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic. Then we're going to mix all that up good. And y'all meet me outside. We're going to go ahead and start cooking the taters and everything else. All right, y'all, you're going to want to heat your grease to about 375, 350. That's a good cooking temperature for fish. We're almost there. I like to cut those sweet potato fries pretty thin, but I like to cook these sweet potato fries till they get a little bit of crunch to them. I want to cook this next batch a little bit longer than these. That's about what we're looking for right there. All right, y'all, then you're going to want to season your taters right off the grease. There we go. Got another batch going. Got some potatoes, hush puppies. These aren't homemade. And corn nuggets. We love these things. If you've never tried corn nuggets, man, they are good. I got my grease too hot for those hush puppies. I had to turn off the fire. I got the corn nuggets cooking. Tinley jumping on the trampoline. All right, y'all. It's almost time for the fish. I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of lemon to my fish. Mix all that up. And we'll be battering the fish in this little doodad here. If you fry a decent amount, y'all need to get one of these. That's a LEM. So the fish will go on this side. And you put this lid on, shake it up, twist it back around, and you have battered fish. All right, so with this little doodad here, you just put the lid on it. Make sure it's tight. Then your cornmeal is down here. You flip it over. Your fish gets a nice coat of cornmeal. Batter them up nice. Flip it back over. And these fish are ready to go in the grease. Alright y'all. Here we go. Time to cook the fish. Cook them to a golden brown. Like I say, my temperature is about 350, 375. I don't want to crowd the pot too much. These won't take long at all. That one's a little too big. Let's cook that one first on the next batch. That's about what we're looking for right there. Good and crispy. That's the catfish. Is it good? Yummy! Try it, Mom. Dip it in the secret sauce. She got a piece of crappie. Mm. <laughs> 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 Yummy. What do you think, Dad? Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. Best I've had today. <laughs> All right, y'all, here we go. Got a piece of crappie right here in the secret sauce. Hold on. Mm. Piece of catfish.
Mm -mm -mm. Perfect. About the homemade fries. The homemade fries. Sweet potato chips. Mm -mm. All right, y'all. We're going to enjoy our Sunday meal together. Appreciate y'all tuning in today to Redline Outdoors. Hope y'all will tune in again, and I hope you'll hit the like button. I got pet turtles and froggy. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Yes, bye. And we'll catch y'all on the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.